What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey, everybody. Jonathan here. I'm at Atlanta Brick Co., which is really one of the biggest and coolest LEGO stores in the world. I'm uh, going to be making a lot of cool content here today. Two things for them and this vlog for me. We've got some really fun stuff lined up for today, so come along and let's see what we get into. All right, here I am in the live room with everybody at Atlanta Brick Co. We're getting ready to do the morning show, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. All right, so this is the room where everything happens, the live room. Pretty amazing. Just give you another glance that you don't quite get to see on Atlanta Brick Co.'s YouTube channel. Great minifig display. Check out this TIE Fighter display. You guys know I love the display stuff. This is unreal. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a castle banner. Back when minifigs were only two bucks. Jeez. They went up to two ninety nine. Of course, that's serious. Oh, yeah. I think that's... I was watching this morning. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Black Widow store display. So you guys know I love the store displays, and of course Atlanta Brick Co. has plenty of those. Look up, we've got a Hulk right there, and the thing I love about this Hulk is it's promoting a super specific set, that set being Hulk's Lab Smash. This would have been from about 20, when was this? 2014. So if you look, there's the Hulk, and there's the steps, and if we look right up top there, Hulk is smashing the steps. The kind of oddball stuff I love is, you know, promotional stuff, store display stuff. So that would have been hanging in the Lego store, like in the window, promoting this specific set, which I actually just reviewed on the channel recently, ironically. But I just love that, that they did a one promotional piece for one specific set. And then if we look straight up here, we've got an Iron Man 3 display that I really, really like. It would have been hanging in the window as well. But that suit came in two sets. This was one of them, uh, the Iron Man Malibu Mansion Attack, a fan favorite for a while now. And it also came in this set. Uh, this is the Iron Man Extremis Seaport Battle, both from Iron Man 3. And I just think that that's a cool display piece too. The other thing I think is cool is that I can talk about two sets, like specifically, and then there they are right on the shelves. Atlanta Brick Co, man, something else. I love these promotional pieces, Chris. Um, what else do you have that's like rare and weird and preferably Marvel, but I do kind of like it all. Preferably Marvel, we have a lot. We have a lot of the odd stuff. There's bionicle weapons hanging oh from the gosh, ceiling over crazy. there. Uh, Blackbeard is hanging from the ceiling oh, over man. there. That's crazy. Uh, just like the whole thing. Iron Man. Uh, there's these things that came out of Lego and Discovery Centers. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's. Darth Malgus. The minifigure is worth what, two hundred dollars now? So I looked him up on Bricklink. He's actually, uh, what was he like in the hundred dollar range? Yeah, I think. Which yeah. I, I thought he was two hundred too. But well, maybe he went down in price. Here's the May the Fourth be with you. Every May the Fourth, we pull this out and put it up. Uh, yeah, that's from the Lego store. Can't really. Pull I remember that out seeing right that. now, but yeah, it's a uh, pretty cool. And I mean, look at there. this. You got the Chrome Naboo Starfighter there. Incredible. I mean, of course, we're looking at the promo stuff right now, but you can't skip over the awesome <laughs> yeah. Lego stuff, too. This guy's getting pretty popular here, the original Millennium Falcon. Hey, I'm in the club. Yeah. I'm not saying that's the best Millennium Falcon, but it's not the worst one. I no. think that original Falcon is as cool as it gets, man. Sure, you saw our, our Age of Ultron scene, right? Yeah, phenomenal. Got the shawarma place here, got Scarlet Witch there, and of course the New York circle shot. Just amazing. And that all lights up, and the train goes wow. around it, and a kid ripped the button off the wall and then hanging out overhead here of course is <laughs> oh probably gosh. the best thing that we have of course spider-man's hanging on the ceiling that's yeah. what he does so he's wow. he's got a back to him oh, so it's kind of like this aquaman over here okay and it that says so cool. uh marvel superheroes okay. on the back with the lego logo and it's solid i mean that's what three layers of foam and it yeah, came out of a, a lego store that closed down mm -hmm. so um you know at the time there were less than a hundred lego stores so i'm assuming it's less than a hundred of these were made yeah and i know not every lego store got them Mm -hmm. And of those, I know a lot of them have to get destroyed and put in the compactor, so not a lot of yeah. that kind of stuff floating around out there. Or hanging around in Spider-Man's case. Mm -hmm. Man, you picked the perfect place to hang them, too. 
Yeah. Well, I had a spot on the ceiling I was trying to cover. <laughs> well, that works too. Yeah. Man, those are great. Why don't we check the back and maybe even the basement and see what else we can find down there? All right. Yeah, never know. This is the back room. Rebel snow speed. What? There's a uh, Wonder Woman. Oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, lasso's broken. I can't hardly tell. The, um, this used to be one of those big spin cubes. Wow. And I just didn't have a place to put it. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Okay, so walk me through the process back here. Is so this all are, stuff that needs inventory? These, Does it? These three shelves here are sets that need to be inventory. Uh, this is Levi's desk. He's inventorying the uh, Quinjet there. A lot of our stuff, I'll show you downstairs, but we've got 10 times this downstairs oh waiting to be gosh. inventory. So. And stuff just walks in the door every day. Every day, yeah. Oh my and, gosh. And people ship it to us, so we go get it. And, uh, pick it up at conventions. Uh, this is all stuff that needs to go out for sale. Unreal. It's been priced. And, um, I feel like you could come like a week apart and just see stuff that wasn't here the week you before. Could, yeah, it's just incredible. All these cube bricks from Target. <laughs> you might have like. 10% of all of them that was made ever. Look at all those Aquaman sets. <laughs> this is amazing. Those cubes you were talking about. You seriously have to own like 10% of every one that was made. It's incredible. Uh, Angie's working on re uh, reorganizing our animals right now. Amazing. So she's We have some in bulk, but these are the specialty ones that we either have a few of or that are really expensive. So. Pretty Whoa. Dinosaur. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Uh, Randy's help. Randy makes Hi there. our t -shirts. Hi, Randy. Hey. She runs our t shirt operation down in the basement, and she also helps Angie with the animals, the friend stuff. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. Processing stuff. This, is, this area here is an absolute mess, obviously, yep. but it's our minifigure sorting station. So once it goes in these drawers, they're ready to go out for sale. So we've got to. Um, Update our online inventory, update our inventory on the shelves in the store, and uh, put these away behind the counter. So Amazing. these are all mint condition minifigures uh, that need to go on our website for sale. And what's crazy is, you know, mini superheroes today, we obviously talk a lot about superheroes, but like literally in this box, we're looking at people's dream minifigures. Yeah, these, these nasty boys here are over $100. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at easy $150, $200 of figures right there alone. That's incredible. I mean, there's probably... A couple of Deadpools here. Easily $1,000 worth of minifigures is what we're looking at right here. DC drawer is pretty full right now. And we just, we just went through this DC drawer and emptied them out, but we filled it up again. Some nice guys in here. Yeah, Firestorm. Firestorm. I don't have him, actually. Got the original Alfred. That's the original uh, Batman from the Tumblr, Dark yep. Knight. Original Tumblr. Original Two-Face. One of my favorite minifigs of all time. Original Mr. Freeze. Who else? Killer Crocs in there. Harley Quinn. Man. I was actually a Blue Beetles comic book fan. The oh, original yeah. comic book. So Still amazing he has a minifig. Um, I wish, uh, I mm -hmm. wish they'd do the classic Blue Beetle. Maybe someday. We gotta get DC to come back first, then, though. There's, there's Star Wars oh that needs God. to be And I just emptied it. Like, I just inventoried it. Wow. It got full, yeah. filled up in, like, a few hours. Look at that. So, it's just a Silver Century and Iron Man just sitting this there. This is called our hospital right here. Uh -huh. This is all some, you know, all these figures need something to be sellable. So the Silver Centurion, uh, can you see what's wrong with him? Let's see. He's missing a stud on the front. Just needs that front tile. Wow. So uh, hopefully well, I know about no 50,000 YouTube subscribers yeah. that would be happy to buy it without that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call oh our minifigure gosh. graveyard. What? So we've got, these are all just parts, minifigure parts for everything. So like this one says Marvel bad. So we sort it by Marvel bad guys. So there's our Venom parts. Oh my There's gosh. Uh, Aisha. Uh, the Beetle even has his own bag. Yep. Loki's got quite a few parts there. Oh my gosh. 
Um, ah. There goes the Chitauri. That's, yeah. They just got That's Thanos snapped. One of our, uh, the, one of the banes of my existence is my young teenage employees leaving my bags unzipped after they go in. Look at this Star Wars. Just, yeah, Star Wars this. is a little overwhelming. Just an entire box of Jabba's. An entire box of Rancors. What? <laughs> it would be a good time for us to go through our Rancors. Right? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Oh my gosh, just an entire box of Jedi minifigs. What? <laughs> These are bounty hunters and aliens. Oh my gosh, I mean... These are just parts. You and know, they're just the, parts. We could probably complete figures out of here. Sure. But um, we do that when we have time. There's our Boba Fett gallon bag. Wow. And there are Cloud City parts. Okay, so I do have to just move down here and show you guys. Look at this. Just parts. Boxes and bags of trooper parts. Uh, there's all the <laughs> dragon graveyard. There's that awesome... Dark green fantasy era dragon. Oh Those are all God. mutant dinos. Elephant graveyard. I thought it was about the time we uh, addressed the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you're watching this, you have to realize that this is just once in a lifetime to get to see a room like this. Lego Batman poster signed by Will Arnett. All right, so here we're in the Marvel section. We've got lots of sets here. But, of course, the cool stuff is the minifigures. So we've got some Eternals, got Black Cat. Just amazing. Look at that Ultron and Doctor Doom back there. I mean, really? Look at that. You've got your Doc Ox from the Raimi movies. Just amazing. Speaking of Raimi, I saw the Wrestler Spider-Man over here. Man, he's gone up in price. I don't even see a Toby Spider-Man. I mean, you know, everybody wants those right now, but pretty great selection of lego marvel pretty much everything you could want i mean yeah there obviously are some holes but you know you'll see in the back of the store there's just so much so literally by the time you come here like tomorrow these will probably be all filled out got all kinds of sealed dc and marvel i mean just unbelievable where are you gonna see a selection like this and then look at these up on the ceiling these displays iron man 3 got the hulk All right, so it was a great morning session, but we gotta go grab some lunch because we skipped breakfast coming here. So we will uh, pick up where we left off here in just a minute, but right now it's lunchtime, so yeah. All right, we're back at Atlanta Brick Co. And uh, now we're gonna do some wheeling and dealing. So gonna buy some stuff, but we also have to see what's in the basement. So let's check it out. This was part of a big collection that I bought where they were sealed bags. Wow. But he didn't have the boxes. We have all the boxes. No kidding. So I had one of my employees go through and match them all up. Um, That's insane. Let me, just, let me go turn the light on back there so you can kind of get the scope of what's back there. But. Unbelievable. All of these flattened boxes. Look at these poly bags, too. You just open it up and it's just endless poly bags. Incredible. Well, I can't even get back there. I have to turn the light on. Anyhow, we've got all the boxes. Oh yeah, nothing to see there. Just a poly bag bag. <laughs> Just a bag full of them. These came Which in last week and he and I wow. negotiated the price ahead of time. Oh wow. GameStop. Uh, this one's no joke right here. Oh my gosh, check this out. This is a bag full of Hank Pym Giant Mans. And that's a killer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a $25 oh, bill. Oh, easily. Right there. yeah. There's got to be 50 or more of them in there. If that's Silver Centurions, I'm going to lose my no. mind. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> still that's bad, still pretty though. cool. Yeah, Superman yeah. Lex Luthor. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, we give a dollar store credit for boxes, and it gets people in. It's like a coupon. So yeah, that's We cool. don't always need them. We throw them away a lot, but... Uh, anytime we need a box, there's a 50-50 chance that we do have it already. Amazing. So, 
I might um, have to pick your brain and ask if you have a couple of specific ones. <laughs> Just might. Although, that means we're going to have to dig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so this is our uh, BrickLink store right here. Wow. And this is our uh, counting scale. We can count like a thousand pieces right away with it. Wow. Um, this is all stuff we've got to put on BrickLink. And then these are our sorted parts. So you ever buy Check a this out, guys? Uh, occasionally, yeah. I don't do as much mock building as a lot mm -hmm. of Lego builders, but just look at this. It's Somebody just... orders a one by two brick, and there's a whole bag of them right there. Yeah, just there's incredible. some of our bulk items on the wall there. Oh, man, just incredible. And it, it, please excuse the mess. We will clean it, and then it'll look like this, and literally the next day. Oh yeah, I mean, you buy a big enough collection and it turns around and... Wow. But these are all sorted by type and color and part. Is this unreal or what? <laughs> I'm blown away. All these boats. Just a box full of boats. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I yeah. This is a project for another oh, day. come on. But it's the... Uh, one of the first store displays like I made and you can just tell <laughs> how old this is uh, the bottom oh, is metal wow and it's the x-wing so when the wing was on it it looked you know it looked like it was a full thing because yeah. there's a mirror behind it while it was in somebody's garage it got a dead bug inside and oh, since gosh. it's been in our basement the wing fell off but I think the wing will just pop right back on that is unreal yeah. Wow, this is a whole nother world from upstairs. Yeah. But it makes sense, you know? It's like, yeah. this is the processing. This is, yeah. I mean, we kind of saw earlier the processing of upstairs, but yeah. look at these boxes. Just every Star Wars box you could ever need. Oh my gosh. All eras too. There's the old Technic R2-D2. Blue Coons Jedi Starfighter. It's like you're looking at pretty much every Star Wars box there ever was. Uh, I, I'm speechless, and that's rare. Yeah. Wow. So this is our graveyard right here. This is where we come to look for parts that we need for sets. Uh, this is our Duplo graveyard. We can, uh, when we need a Duplo piece, we come and pull them from here. It's pretty well sorted and organized. Um, this is our Star Wars graveyard right yes. here. This is definitely the the biggest graveyard. Uh, so if we need a part from the new Starfighter, we'll come grab it. Oh my gosh. Um, the Chrome one. A Death Star graveyard here. There's probably like five Death Stars in there. <laughs> Just speechless. Wow. I don't know if you're in the Bionicle, but our Bionicle graveyard is pretty killer. I'm not, but I'm sure this people on the other side of the camera are about half of our bionicle wow the other half is upstairs we sell it on our website as bulk sure and it sells very well down here got all those bionicle cases and everything man do you have like dedicated employees that just all they do is reconstruct lego sets and yeah they them, inventory you know, them so we want to make sure that they're like uh 95 percent complete before no less than that sure before we inventory it it's just incredible to see this side of it. You know, we all know Atlanta Brick Co. is the place to be, but to see this side of it is something that nobody gets to see. Yeah, so we, we'll get tours every now and then, but it's so messy right now, we don't want uh, to give too many tours. This is our, what we call our disassembly room. It just keeps going. <laughs> this is what we call wow. our disassembly room. So these are sets that we're going to inventory. So these get disassembled and sorted by color, cleaned. Um, wow. That's what the toothbrushes are for and yep. disinfectant spray. This is our sorting oh room. So uh, we have another one of these tubs upstairs. And wow. as we get bulk Lego in, we just dump it in these uh, tub upstairs. And then we'll wheel it down here and replace it with this one. So uh, the kids come at, in after school and one will sit on that side, one will sit on this side, and they'll just sort out all the non-Lego here. This is all non-Lego here. So I'm scared to ask, but what happens to that? We throw it away. Um, you just can't keep it I all. used to donate it. And guess what I saw come back into our store a year later? Wow. Mixed in with all this Lego that I had to pay somebody to sort again. Yep. 
So now I think it's better just to get it off the planet. We wash them in the dishwasher, and then we wash the Lego in the washing machine with wow. my secret uh, detergent here that's vinegar and lemon juice. Oh, and I was going to say, don't reveal it. It's a Krabby Patty <laughs> secret formula. And then we take it out, we put it up here to dry. I gotta ask, do you think you've had one of every Lego piece ever officially made across the years? I think so, but we never, well, except the, the one of one and sure. the real oddball stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's say no one of one, Any no prototype, stuff, but yeah. I know we've had it. Um, Cloud City Luke Skywalker, just casually sitting down here. Okay, Will, it's been awesome. I found lots of great stuff on the shelves, but of course there's that promo stuff that I'm into. So do you have a mm -hmm. number in mind that you might do on any of that stuff? I know you don't really sell the promo yeah, stuff, but if yeah. you were gonna. You know, if anybody is watching this, no. We are not selling promo stuff, none of it. Except this one time. <laughs> Just one time. <laughs> Just this one time. We're recording a historical event. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, Spider-Man is definitely the the most yeah. valuable thing. He is mint condition, just like anything. You know, condition yeah. is, is pretty important. You know, only so many Lego stores got them. So if mm -hmm. there's roughly 100 Lego stores at that time and not all of them got them at any one given time, it's like there might be 50 of them that were made and who mm -hmm. knows, you know? So they're they're definitely rare, I, so, I respect So uh, let's start with Aquaman. Okay. Um, he's got a couple of puncture holes in him. I'm gonna discount that and I'd say about 100. Okay. Uh, I wanted 200. I talked myself down to 150 because that's. Uh, yeah. you no, know, no disrespect, yeah. but he is Aquaman too. You know, he's not Spider Man. <laughs> and then we've got the Iron Man and the Hulk up here on the ceiling. Would you uh, consider letting go of those? Um, one of them or both? Uh, both. I'd take both. Iron Man and the Hulk. Uh, let's say a hundred dollars each. I think they're two sided. Okay. We'll have to see when we get them down, but um, be at a hundred dollars each on those. Okay, so if you'd like to go both two hundred, mm -hmm. then of course we've got Aquaman at one fifty, and then I'm almost mm -hmm. scared to ask about Spider Man because you know he's Spider Man. So I looked him up. I I couldn't find any cutouts. Yeah. Let alone Spider Man. Spider Man's kind of popular right now. He would be. Uh, I think the I'd let it go price on him is six hundred dollars. Okay, <laughs> six hundreds a lot. That's cheaper than the Andrew Garfield San Diego Comic Con. That's true. Spider Man, which we have for six thousand dollars. So he's I mean, cheaper a, by a whole it's zero. A tenth of the price. That's right. What that's a right. Deal. And it's just a big piece of. And you know what? Piece. Honestly, it's probably more rare. Yeah, truth be yeah. told, you know, it's Did just I say not... six hundred. I meant. Uh... <laughs> well, it's more rare, but there's a lot of people that want mm -hmm. Andrew Garfield, and I'm probably the only guy that wants the foam. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but I I get that. So okay, so six hundred on Spider Man, mm -hmm. hundred fifty on Aquaman, and two hundred on those puts us at nine fifty. Mm. Then we got uh, Black Widow. That's true. You do have the Black mm -hmm. Widow up front too. What would you do on her? Um. She'd be at 500. Okay. Yeah. That she's, tallies us. She's mint condition. And, yeah. Um, not up to the Spider Man level, but she's close. Yeah, and it's big yeah. too. The Iron Man and Hulk aren't as big as Spider Man, so I get that. And what's really tough about it is I'm just making these numbers up. Right. I mean, I, I know I, I did pay a lot for them. Sure. Uh, I, I, somebody traded them to me. Sure. Uh, usually the people who actually have these displays don't sell them. So I guess that puts us at. What fourteen fifty total? Yeah. I think I might have to save Black Widow for next time. That's right. fourteen fifty is a little much, so that brings us down to nine fifty. I mean, what would your bottom dollar price <clears throat> be if I claimed you out on all of them? Oh, we got four. Spider Man, we got Iron Man, right. Hulk, and I'm losing track. Aquaman. <laughs> and you're leaving me uh, Black Widow. Yeah, you get to keep Black Widow. So we're at nine fifty. Um, I, I could probably knock fifty dollars off each one. Off each one, okay. So that's mm -hmm. fifty two hundred brings us to seven fifty. Seven fifty. Yeah. Yeah, I can't leave it behind for seven fifty. I'll do that. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate that. No problem. All right. Well, <laughs> we got some stuff to get off the. You have room ceiling. in the car for those? You know, I should have started with that. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. 
Holy cow, that thing's even bigger now that it's <laughs> down in real life. How heavy is it, Nate? Close to. And this is actually, what a lot of people don't realize, is this is actually life size. Yeah. The wow. real life Lego Spider-Man is this tall. I think the crazy thing is, you know, he's crouching. If he was standing upright, we'd be the same height. <laughs> 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 that is so wild. Wow. Look at that. Got the Marvel Super Heroes logo on the back. This is the kind of crazy stuff I love. This is just <laughs> as cool as it gets. Hulk's coming down next. There he goes. Not dual-sided. Wow. That is just too cool. Look at that, guys. Hulk smash. And he's even got some Velcro on the back already, so he'll display really nice. That's amazing. Wow. There he goes. He's dual-sided. That is so cool. Check that out, guys. Got a big giant Iron Man 3. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, that's a wrap on Atlanta Brick Co. We've got some amazing displays here, and I've got a whole bag of stuff that I got at the store. So it has been amazing. Got some really cool stuff, and now it's time to head home with a quick stop at Bucky's and uh, show you guys the haul. So, yeah, let's get on the road back to Nashville. Greatest gas station in the world, baby. So I'm back home now, and it's time to talk about the haul. Obviously, there is some amazing stuff here. I don't even know where to start, so let's just go with the big one up first. Now, you guys may have seen recently that I got this Toy Fair Iron Man head from an auction of Kevin Hinkle's, uh, you know, previous collection pieces. And at Atlanta Brick Co., the owner, Chris, actually told me that he had the torso to go with it. So, of course, I had to scoop that up, and now I have the Toy Fair Iron Man. I'll do a full video on this, but this is one of only 125 of this figure in the entire world. It's one of the rarest LEGO Marvel figures. In fact, arguably the rarest LEGO Marvel figure. So, yeah, this deserves a video on its own, but that was incredible. I uh, just beyond incredible. The next craziest thing, you can see I spent $600 on this, is the Lego DC Supergirl minifigure. Now, this is based off of the Supergirl show, so it's Melissa Benoist version, and when we flip it over, you can see that it's just a really cool DC fandom exclusive from August 2020. Basically, you entered an online raffle to win this, and people randomly got sent this. Uh, I'm really getting into the Comic-Con figures, so I was really excited to pick this up. Obviously, spent a pretty penny on it, but I'll do a full video on this in its own right at some point. Right here, we have Iron Man magnets. Now, I actually did not have either of these. Uh, this one is from the first Avengers movie, so probably 2012 or so this would have come out. Uh, yeah, so that's really cool. And then this one is from Age of Ultron, so 2015 or so. And you actually can't take the figure off of the backer. It's just a magnet, but they're very cool. I love that they're still in the package, and I just couldn't leave them behind. So there's those. We got two level packs from Mission Impossible from LEGO Dimensions. The only reason I bought it is to get those black short-sleeved arms off of Ethan Hunt. So I'll take both of those figures out, take the arms off, and probably just throw the parts in my scrap bin after that. Now, this piece here is actually super nostalgic. Um, I paid $20 for it, but my best friend growing up, Declan, had one of these in his collection. I've always wanted one, literally, my whole life. I've always wanted one of these base plates, and I finally got one. What I'm going to do with it, I could not even begin to tell you, but I've just always loved this base plate, and I'm really glad to have it now. Now here, we've got a bag of minifigures. Now I spent about $300 on all the figures in this bag, and admittedly, I don't remember the price of each one, so let's just go ahead and grab them one by one and see what I got. I got these Hero Factory figures. I do think that they were like about $2 a piece, so a really great deal. I just love the helmets for these. I think they'll make for really good, like, I don't know, Star Wars customs or something like that at some point. I just think they're really cool figures. Here we've got Just Too Good's favorite minifigure of all time. No, I don't know that for a fact, but this is the German Pretzel Girl. Just a very cool minifigure that I didn't have yet. You know, coming down on those CMF figures. Here we've got Porkins. Uh, I did not have Porkins yet, so that's very cool. Of course, he's the uh, heavy set X-Wing pilot from A New Hope, so didn't have him yet, and it's good to check off more from the Star Wars list. Here we've got some more Hero Factory minifigures. Again, not the coolest figures in the world, but I do love those helmets for making customs, and honestly, the bodies aren't too bad either, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to grab some figures at random here. 
We've got Clone Wars Anakin. Can't really tell you why I bought this yet, but I can tell you down the line. Got a uh, Bionicle minifigure for $2. Got Chewbacca from Solo. Uh, I think he was $10. And I didn't really like the Solo movie, but I am going to go for a complete run of Star Wars figures. I have about 970 of the 1,300 or so figures there are out there. So, uh, again, that's what these droids are for, just to help me get a little bit closer. Um, after this buy, I should have about 985 of the Star Wars figures that were made. So, that's pretty cool. Here, we've got Luke Skywalker with the exclusive Rebel Pilot helmet that he came with. I believe this came out in 2017 or 2018. I don't remember offhand. Um, but I do think that the visor is cool on there, and while I don't like it as much as the, you know, standard way they do it with printing the visor on the head, it's just a very unique piece, and I think it's cool to, uh, finally have him. So that's very cool. Let's see, just grabbing some figures at random here. We've got Vernon from Harry Potter. His face is absolutely perfect for Mobius from Loki, and so even though I already had one, I wanted to get another one, because you just never know when you'll need one. Another $2 Bionicle figure here. Got a Jawa for like 4 or $5. I just always lose my Jawas for some reason. Just I, I don't know why. They just disappear. Here we've got Newt Scamander. Uh, I'm not really a huge, you know, Fantastic Beasts fan, but this head is really good for customs, so I went ahead and got him for that. Here we've got, uh, I think this is Hermione from Lego Harry Potter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just thought that was a good torso for customs. Here we've got the fencing figure. I realized back during Hawkeye that I didn't have the fencing figure yet, so they had it at Atlanta Britco. Went ahead and picked that up. I think he was like $10. I don't remember. Uh, here we've got Ron. Um, I don't know what set this is from. Maybe the Burrows, but somebody can drop a comment and let me know. But of course, I just got this for the torso and the head. Really good for custom parts. Got a Clone Wars Obi-Wan. Once again, can't really tell you what that's for yet, but it is a cool project coming up here. We've got another Bionicle minifigure. These aren't great. I just think that they're cool little footnotes in Lego history. So here we've got a couple of the German soccer player CMFs. Now, what that means is these were only released in Europe, and they were CMFs of soccer players. I don't know who any of these people are, but I did think that they all provided some really good parts for customs. For example, that head is pretty good for Rhodey from, uh, you know, Avengers. Of course, those arms are really nice with the short sleeves with the, uh, you know, black arms underneath. Then we've got this guy here. Not a bad custom for Luis from Ant-Man, but again, I just kind of got these for parts packs. And this head should be good for customs at some point, but the torso, my friend LegoBoy95 over on Instagram was using that torso for the No Way Home version of J. Jonah Jameson. So that's pretty cool as well. Just grabbing some figures at random here. Got another $2 Bionicle figure. Got another $2 Bionicle figure. Got the Bounty Hunter from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Just a great figure for, uh, you know, customs. And he's just a cool figure in general. And his name literally is just Bounty Hunter. So, yeah. Uh, here we've got Ahsoka for that secret Clone Wars project that I can't tell you anything about yet. Here we've got the original Catwoman. That's right, the 2006 Catwoman. I had this as a kid, but unfortunately, I think I lost it somewhere over the years. So I went ahead and rebought it. I think she was $20? Don't remember offhand, but uh, I was missing her, and I'm also missing Bane. I never got the original Bane as a kid, so I need to get him, and then I'll have every figure from the original uh, 2006 Batman run. Here I went ahead and got another Barbara Gordon. I love these arms, using them for Falcon from, uh, you know, Infinity War and all the Marvel stuff, because uh, it's just good for that short sleeve look. Then I got the Chewbacca from Solo that doesn't have the goggles on. Pretty sure he was $10 as well. Again, not a big Solo fan, but, you know, just trying to get all the Star Wars figures, so you got to start somewhere. So there's all those figures. We got the base plate. We got the Mission Impossible. We got the Magnets. Uh, one of them fell on the ground earlier. We got the $600 Supergirl Comic Con figure, and, of course, we got the Iron Man. And we can't forget about those giant standees like Spider-Man and Aquaman and all that that we saw the negotiation for in the video. But with that being said, drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this vlog. I know this is a long video.
video, but I really didn't want to cut very much out because it was just such an amazing day. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of my community and for opening doors like this trip to happen. I couldn't do any of this without you guys. You are the best followers and subscribers on the planet, so drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thanks for making it to the end, and I will catch you guys next time. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.